and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace, and I got another Winter's Day video here for you from Guild Wars 2. I will walk you through the dungeon if you don't know what to do or if you have missed it. However, you can find this dungeon yourself on the grove or in the grove on the north side. You can enter it at level 2, but you do need a party to get in. It sticks as Infinerarium, whatever that may mean or if that even is pronounced correctly. And before we go any further, I do have to point out that at the end of the dungeon after the boss fight after you get your reward there is still a big chest in the middle of the dungeon a lot of people are missing this so keep an eye out for that now this dungeon has you do a little objective to begin with which is this killing of tar collecting tar and making this machine work which is then followed by killing squid on the second platform however i missed the teleporting message and i didn't go up so that was my bad but i killed squid down below so that counts for something yeah, no? Okay, moving on. Second, or the third objective, really, is the collecting of plants, which you can see right here. The plants spawn through the entire zone, so you can split up, because the squid itself, they don't do a lot of damage, so you can just tank it and make this objective be cleared a bit faster. However, the most plants spawn at this little square-looking thing, which probably has a name. However, I am foreign, nor do I know that name, so there you go. So we camped it a little bit longer, and we finished off the specific objective relatively fast now the last objective before the boss fight are these turrets there's 18 of them and they are pretty spread out so you're definitely going to move around quite a bit however these turrets they melt they don't really hurt whatsoever and they melt so fast it's not even funny even auto attacks as my alley or auto attacks from my alley they melt the turrets relatively fast and then my abilities they just blow these things up like it's nothing and that was the last turret that we had, which was kind of a tricky find because well, everybody was spread out. Nobody really knew where the last one was. However, the last boss is, of course, a giant robot, as to be expected from an Azura place. Now, he has a heal, he has a, a steal of boons, and he has a conversion. He has an AOE, as you can see right there, a knockback. It's pretty standard for a robot, but you have to keep in mind, it is, after all, a level 2 dungeon. So it has to be quick, it has to be painless. And as far as I understand it from my point of view right now, the dungeon is only available for one day. So make sure to check it out. Once again, it's on or in the grove on the north side. You can actually just make new characters and get in there because you can already enter it uh, from level two. But this is the reward that you will get. And normally people will pick the reward, which has to do with crafting uh, mini pets and such. So pick carefully. They will click this screen, they will accept, and they will leave the dungeon. However, I have a lot of howevers in this video. There you go. There's a chest in the middle which will have some more rewards. And due to the placement of the boss and this chest right here, a lot of people missed this. So keep an eye out for that. Go check it out and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.